All right, guys, let's see what the compressor comes with inside the package. Let's open it up. It comes with a white bag that I believe the charging cable and the press of valve come inside. Then we have the storage pouch. And now we're gonna see the device itself. Let's take it out of the box. The buttons feel really clicky and the air hose feels very secure and well made. Okay, so we have the device itself. We have the needle valve, the presto valve, and the storage pouch. And we have the charging cable, which is a typical micro USB cable, which is not too long. This compressor has a 2000 mAh battery, which takes two and a half hours to charge with a five volt charger, and it could last you 30 minutes of use. Also, what I noticed with this device is that it's very well made. It's well put together. It's not too heavy and it doesn't feel cheap. So in order for you to turn the device on, you have to unplug the air hose first. This device also has a light that you can use it and you turn it by just tapping this button right here. As you can see, it's not too bright, but it's enough now let's take a look at the presets modes that we have. So you have bicycle, motorcycle, for the car, and you can also use it in basketball, soccer balls, any sports balls. To set up your own pressure, you can do it by just pressing the plus and minus buttons. Now over here in the side is how the compressor gets the air in to fill your tires. So when the light is white, it means it's more than 50%. When it's orange, it's between 20 and 50%. And when it gets to red, it's less than 20%. And just underneath, you have your charging port. All right, so we're gonna take it to the test. So we're gonna try it with this bicycle that I have right here. Right now, the rear tire is full. So we're gonna plug in the device to see how much air we have. As I told you, besides being a portable electric air compressor, it's also a pressure detector. So let's see how this feature works. So now we're gonna plug in the Vesta valve and then we're gonna plug in the compressor. I think this is the easiest way for you to use it. So as you can see, we got 53 PSI of air pressure in the tire. Now we're gonna unplug it and we're gonna take that air out all the way down to zero. As you can see now, the tire is flat and we're gonna go ahead and put the air back in and we're gonna see how long does it take to fill the tire all the way to its level. So we're gonna put the stopwatch on the screen and we're gonna start it right now. As you can see, it's a little quick. We already had the preset for 45 PSI. So that's how much air we're gonna get in the tire, 45 PSI. And we're almost there, we're done. We didn't take that long. Now we're gonna put everything back together. And as you can see, the pressure in the tire is back to normal. All right guys, thank you for watching. All right guys, that's pretty much it. It worked perfectly with the tire on this bicycle. It was totally flat and now we got a full tire. In a few days, I'm gonna have an electronic unicycle. We're gonna put that to the test again and see how it does. If you like this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up, subscribe, any questions, any comments, just leave them down below. I'm gonna leave a link if you wanna purchase it.